Hello YouTube, I'm back again with another video. This time I'm going to be playing a custom duel. Again, I'm being playing Animeta. Eventually I will change it with my more popular uh, custom archetypes. But for now, I just want to showcase you the full potential of this deck to make sure that you can s see how the deck entirely works in its own new way. So right now we draw Tanjiro so we can make full use of effect since you guys haven't got to s s witness it. And you get the opportunity to see how it works. First, we gotta activate Sekai, which means world. A normal summon Tanjiro. I'll pay 1200. It's supposed to summon two Animata monsters with different names. They can either be from my main and or extra deck face up with a different name, which is really easy. Still a really powerful effect. You'll see why he is important. And just to let you guys know, that I did limit Akami's effect because look, if you read her effect, she has to be limited. Not only she can be played in almost any Pendulum deck, she lets you draw four cards if you're playing in Animata. So she's way more broken in Animata than any other Pendulum deck. So let's proceed. Deku's effect will activate Battle Chain with Sekai. So I'll be able to summon one Animata monster from my deck to the field because since I supposed to summon two or more monsters on the field. At the same time, so you'll see I'm gonna go for Blanc. There's more to come because I still haven't finished my turn yet. Alright, because I can decide whether I want a Fusion Summon, XC Summon, or Synchro Summon. Right now I'm gonna activate Boken to add Uzumaki. And then obviously I'm gonna set Uzumaki in the scale, destroy itself, to place two Pelamons from my main deck to the Pendulum Zone. People are wondering if that card should be it. I definitely disagree because what happens when you do activate its effect, you only it locks you into Animata monsters. So there's no there's no reason to actually hit that card. If it was to be played in any uh, Pendulum deck where you can specifically summon any monster, then yes, the card will most likely be banned. But it's perfectly good the way it is, simply because it, it's supposed to, it's supposed to help Animata. It's specifically for Animata, and I'll be able to retrieve Boken with Deku while it's in the Pendulum scale. Because I feel Animata, as a Pendulum archetype, it needs the, the, it needs the support as much as possible. It needs as much help as possible for, in order for Pendulums to become viable. So in case player, even though it's not an actual archetype, but at the same time, like for those who are interested in playing Pendulums and custom archetypes. And from here on out... I'm most likely going to Link Summon. Oops, why did I even put that in the game? It's meant to be in the extra face up, so you'll see here that I'm going to Link Summon, and you'll, you're going to find out why. Because I'm about to Pendulum Summon a second time. Which is when you see the monster about to summon, you should know by now it's Potoko. And I can exceed some using Blanc's effect along with it from my extra deck face up. I'll be using Deku to go into Sasuke. And then I'll pin the summon a second time thanks to Motoko's effect. And then Uzumaki will use its effect since I haven't yet. It's a really powerful effect. So I can decide whether I want to go into a synchro play. And this is really fun, trust me. So and I, I immediately can go into my Link summon. And not only can I go into my XC summon, I can go into my synchro summon. And I can fusion summon. Fusion summon, my bad. From here on out, this duel is either going to be in the bag or my opponent is going to scoop. Or unless he has some type of way of uh, countering my field, then he has to bet on his hand. But he, I'm pretty sure he's going to, most likely he's going to say his hand is bricked. With this deck, you can't really brick. It, it all depends how bad you draw. I mean, you can brick, but it all it, it all depends on the odds of what you draw. So, so I'm letting him know that I do gain an additional pendulum summon. Oh, I forgot, this is actually supposed to be my... I, I'm, I'm assuming that was my first Pendulum Summon. My bad, this is my set. Now this is my second Pendulum Summon. So you're going to realize I'm going to go into my second Pendulum Summon thanks to Matoko's effect. I'll go into Ki... I'll be able to special summon Kirito. I won't be able to use his main effect because I want to link, I want to link something in something stronger besides Matoko. So let us continue. Let's fast forward here. You're going to see what's going to happen. Zero is going to fusion summon with Uzumaki. I'll go into Gojo. And I'll link three. Into Gilgamesh. You're going to see his name and his art. 
and from here I end my turn. So if you see the effect of my monsters, I wouldn't say he's entirely done and the protection I have. His monster is going to be so much weaker compared to the, the monsters I already have on my field. Even if he summons something with 3k, this Gilgamesh Sasuke, he can still be able to outmatch them. Plus, my monsters gain 500 because of the field spell. Plus, my opponent loses 300 for each monster in the field thanks to Gilgamesh. I'll let him activate his effect, so I have no response. Even though I can, but I, I want to wait to see what he's up to, so. Because if I do waste on my best trap card, if I waste on my counter, could be, I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a hard one to turn. Yeah, it's a hard one to turn, so I want to be careful when using it. So if I use it on the wrong card, most likely he has ways of being able to reiterate. He'll be able to get, possibly make me waste my trap card, and then he'll outsmart me into summoning something stronger if he has something that he can activate in his hand or in his graveyard, whatever the case may be. But he looks like he's setting two cards. There's no way I would have found out the, what his face downs were during the duel, but since it's a replay, I pretty much can. But you should, guys should know because this is a recap of what's going on. I'm, re I'm recording what happened after the duel, so you pretty much, so the cards are pretty much revealed. So you don't, it shouldn't count as a surprise when watching. But let's fast forward. He's he pretty much scooped like. The board itself, it'll be a C match, summon two monsters, set two trap cards, but it just wasn't enough. So from here on out, I'm going to activate Deku's effect. So not only does it apply to the grave, I can actually, act, actually add an animata monster from actually face up to my hand if I choose to. But he's done for, trust me. I'm just going to go for a game right here. I'm just going to pen up summon two. I use Deku's effect when it's normal summon a special summon to add Animata card from my deck to my hand. I'm gonna go for Kumo. And what am I gonna do here? Alright. Fast forward, Akami's effect allows me to draw two cards. Yeah, pretty much all, and then what's funny, I can actually link summon to Axis Code Talker, so that's what I'm going to do. So instead of getting rid of these two monsters, I can pretty much nail them with my big board. Now he gains 3k, because the Gilgamesh is a link 3, so. Really good strategy that I'm utilizing here, so. Banish Motoko, pop his face down. So even though I limited Akami, because I can choose to unlimit if I want to, but limiting was the right decision, because the card would be heavily broken. And with Tanjiro, he is enough to help you go into your link. He 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 serves as he serves a purpose, being a, a card that you want to draw early in the game. So it's like rather you want to draw Akami once, but at the same if you manage to see Tanjiro, then yeah, you have a better chance. But at the same time, yeah, your opponent can't counter the card, but. It can still help you special summon loads of monsters and then being able to link summon and then pendulum summon twice, which is very important while you play Tantra, on top of him being a tuner monster, which will enable a lot of synchro summons. And this is, here is going to be a lot of confusion. You know, you know, let me just fast forward. We know what's going to win. So you'll see the confusion here. Just read this. It's going to be too time consuming. And then Sasuke will use his effect. He only loses. Yep. He's going to use his effect right now. Detach a material. And the opponent takes damage equal to half the destroyed monster's original attack. We're going to calculate how much this. Only half. But he. Yeah, half the attack. So 650. My monster gains 500. This game. Trust me. And I'm glad he was willing to admit. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed the duel. Be sure to check for more upcoming content in the future. Be sure to check your notifications. Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you.